if you mess up, you can just hit Control Z or Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z is, uh, does step back, and Control Z just does undo change, so you can only do it once. Um, Alright, then that's good. Flares. I usually have my flares at the end, but it's, I guess it's okay if you had them in the beginning. I'm just remaking the background that I did earlier. Um, pretty much. Just not really adding much detail to it. Alright. You want to make it pretty much on the line so it doesn't show the actual streak of it. And if you want, you can hit um, Alt Up make a copy of it, make it a little bit thicker, and then what you want to do then is you just want to merge down, and then you might want to move it down a little bit so it's not as thick, and then that will be good for flares. Space, I don't really care about, um, swag, swag, swag. Use the first one. Oh no, I use the second one. There's really no real difference. Just it's your preference. And then enter. You can make it bigger, smaller. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. And I put it all the way below to the bottom. Change the opacity to 40 I think I used a different opacity before but I was using a, a higher opacity on the on the grunge on the other background they made earlier I know what you want to do is control T rotate 180 degrees Ooh, black screen there we go oh messed up want to make it so it's like opposite gives in a nice little effect and what I like to do is I put it so it looks like it's coming from the flare I like that maybe not this isn't really the best lightning to I guess use but you still you understand at least I hope so whoops Now for the effects. I'm using Exos right now, exclusive pack. You have to pay like 15 bucks for this, I believe. But yes. Um. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can add smoke. I do it just because it looks a little hazy, so it makes it look a little hazy. Control T, put the smoke behind, enter, put it all the way in the back. It doesn't really matter, you can change the opacity. I just leave it at 100 because it's barely noticeable, anyways. Um, I use number 18, which is the rain. Gives it a nice little, looks like it's storming kind of effect. Barely noticeable right now, if noticeable at all, but once it's on the background, you can actually see it. Alright, and then this one I didn't add on my other background, but yeah, I still like it. Alright. Alt 
up. And then erase the excess. Merge down. There you go. Change the opacity maybe to around 75. Move it down a little bit. Now it looks like it's raining, storming. Either the lightning's coming from the flare, or it's coming from the sky, like the darkness. It's all grungy. Gives it a nice little effect. Um, anything else? No? Alright, we're good. Chaos, no. We're good. Textures, oh. There's some other stuff you can add, like, uh techy stuff I guess I guess you could say like what I used on my first one like something like this like that um, on this one I'm gonna choose not to I'm gonna opt out but um, I guess it'll still look good depends just on what whoever you're doing the background for wants what they're into you know because the backgrounds mainly supposed to reflect them not you um, I really didn't have to use anything uh, from this pack, so I might just stop opening this because I didn't—I don't think I really use anything. But uh, all right. Anyways, minimize that or close the little arrow thing. Um, Alt up. Change the name. Oh, right. Control T. 180. Went black screen again. It's fucked up. Move it up. Enter. That's a little, a little light. I'm gonna erase the flare. There we go. Made it a little bit less dark. Oh, change the effects on this one a little bit. Everything's good. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but hope oh, it shouldn't really. I don't think it should make it that light for you. I think it's just uh, the colors that I'm using. Like, hold on, let me change this. Uh, to change these, just double click them. Oh, fuck! Cancel. Double click. It's not as dark, or it's not as light now, but I'm going to keep it as blue. Blue is my favorite color. Um, alright. Now, what I, would, what I would do is I would add my own watermark, if you have one. Um, I believe I have my watermark somewhere in here. It's in here. layers grab it drag it into there I put mine on the right side just person preference doesn't really matter Ooh, where'd it go whatever you might hear my TV right now my bad I'm watching MTV well not really watching I'm listening to it's like five o'clock in the morning um, alright. A little bit smaller. And, again, I'm holding shift 
while I'm dragging the corner so it's even. Um, that works as well as uh, rotating. So it's like an even rotate. If you didn't know. Right now, double click. Now I want a grungy background like this. I choose an outer glow. It doesn't really matter what color you choose because the it's going to choose it anyways. Um, opacity. It's up to you. I might do a little bit lighter one. And a little bit higher percent range. Like that. There we go. And you're done. Well, actually, you're not done yet. Hold on. Uh, you might want to erase this, the grunge, right up there, because it kind of looks looks weird on the background. Like, give me. I'll give you an example. Up here. Hold on. Up there. I just do it up here, just so it looks even. Because otherwise there's just, there's just like this uh, little space right here that's not grungy at all. I mean you can add grunge so you don't have to erase it but I'd just rather erase it. Because it'll just take up more memory. And this side as well. Grunge vampy. Yeah. There you go. Then you're done. You're ready to save. And yeah, I could do a more in-depth tutorial, just tell me if you want to, if you want me to, and uh, as always, please like and favorite, I guess you don't really have to favorite the video, but please like the video, subscribe, share it if you want, it's up to you, I really appreciate it, and uh, alright, now what you want to do is don't save it as JPEG, first of all, try to save it as uh, PNG24. And, but, mine's over a megabyte, so I'm going to have to save it as PNG, or not PNG, but, uh, JPEG. If it's over a megabyte, it won't, it won't let you, uh, put it on YouTube, because it says it's too large of a file. So I just save it as, a uh, JPEG, in the highest quality possible, because, honestly, there's really no difference. And, now I'm kind of regretting that one texture, but, whatever, it's just for tutorial's sake. Um, you can also add brushes, like, uh brush spots say like since the background's blue put like blue brush spots right there and right there so it looks like a glow effect or also up there where I said to erase the grunge from but that's that's just up to you this is just a simple background it took me about 30 minutes that's also with uh, rendering the text and whatnot what you want to do now is save it I create a new folder usually tutorial tutorial BG save ready for YouTube if you don't know how to change your background channel settings Background, remove, choose file. These are my backgrounds I've done before. Um, graphics, for me. Backgrounds, tutorial. Right there, double click it, open, and accept changes. I'm not going to do that now because I like the background that I have actually. So I'm just going to cancel. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, just please like share if you want really helps me out a lot tells me that i'm doing a good job <laughs> and uh subscribe for more thank you